Hey guys, uh, this is the video that I said I was going to do in my last video. It's my Star Wars DVD and Blu-ray collection. I don't have a lot. I don't have, I actually don't have every single one made. But maybe you could guys help me out in the future and tell me which Star Wars is missing. Like, um, I will show you every Blu-ray and DVD I own. And I will give you some mini thoughts on them of what I thought of the movie. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below of which Star Wars movie is your favorite. So anyway, let's begin. Let's start with the still books. These are probably like rare now. But yeah, let's talk about them. I got Phantom Menace with Darth Maul. Attack of the Clones with Yoda. Revenge of the Sith with General Grievous. Star Wars with Darth Vader. The Empire Strikes Back with a Stormtrooper. And my favorite one, Return of the Jedi with Palpatine. And I got the DVDs. Phantom Menace. It's an okay movie. But I really love this. I enjoyed this movie a lot. Attack of the Clones. Good movie. I love the romance in it. And I also loved Django Fett. Revenge of the Sith. Um, I didn't care too much for this movie. And then I got the original trilogy. These are the limited editions that come with the original theatrical versions that were shown in theaters. When really they were just taken off of a laser disc. Yeah. This one, it was good. This was a good this was a good one. This is the one with the theatrical version. I loved A New Hope. Empire Strikes Back, it's an okay movie. Oh. Hold on. I'll fix it later. And then Return of the Jedi. Another, once again, my favorite. And just a quick tidbit for you guys. Return of the Jedi was actually originally supposed to be titled Revenge of the Jedi. But then George Lucas was against that idea and made Revenge Not the Jedi Way. And then I got... This Blu-ray box set that I got for $20 at a Goodwill. Which I was happy to get because of the bonus discs. Then I got... The Force Awakens on Blu-ray. Probably a, one of those best modern day Star Wars movies. Rogue One. Love this movie. The Last Jedi. It was a little overrated, but it is enjoyable. And the most recent one, Solo. It's okay. It's not a right movie. Although I wish they got Alden Henrik and Donald Glover to look like Harrison Ford and Billy Dee Williams with CGI, like they did with Rogue One. Here, hold on. Let me just. Uh, the story of Star Wars, which is just basically C-3PO and R2-D2 explaining Anakin and Luke's life, only from episode 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. This is actually with the Revenge of the Sith DVD. For those people who don't know. The Star Wars Holiday Special. Terrible, terrible movie. But here's the thing. It's a bootleg. 
Never been released. I bought it on eBay. I liked it at first, but after that, it just got boring. Caravan of Courage and the Battle for Endor. Terrible movies. Just made for TV Ewok movies, which I don't think were necessary, but I loved Warwick Davis as Wicked the Ewok. It was the only thing I liked. Uh, the the all right, I guess, animated series of droids. I don't have the animated Ewoks TV show, but sooner or later I will get it. But plus, it doesn't have every episode. It only has the Pirate and the Prince, which are just four episodes added together. Same thing with Treasure of the Hidden Planet. Then I got this piece of shit. It's, well, sorry, piece of junk. It's so stupid. I like Mel Brooks as an actor than a director. He sucks at a director. I didn't like this movie at all. Star Wars Troops, which is a custom-made DVD. It's a parody of cops, I guess you'd want to say. And I got some ter more terrible stuff. Lego Star Wars The New Yoda Chronicles piece of junk not worth watching the Phantom the Padawan Menace from Lego Star Wars same thing and then I got I don't know what animation this is but if it's anime I can live with but I bought these because the collection they are a little crappy at times but they're good but they're still enjoyable. And <laughs> it's funny. This is a really funny one. I like it. I like this one. Phineas and Ferb Star Wars. I love Phineas and Ferb, by the way. It's one of my favorite Disney XD shows. Okay, so now we're getting to some of the good ones. The Clone Wars movie. Star Wars The Clone Wars The Galaxy Divided. That includes... These episodes. Yeah. The cl Clone Commandos. It includes. These episodes. So you can pause and read this. So yeah. Star Wars The Clone Wars to complete season one. Oh and this is what I like. Season two. This is what I like about this. Watch. It's a digi book. It's Blu-ray. And there's a book inside the here, right? So you can actually watch videos where they talk about this. Season 3, but for some reason, the case is broken. But the discs are okay. Hold on, there's a piece of tape on here. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. This is my favorite Star Wars Clone Wars DVD. It is a Target exclusive, but it just has the last four episodes of season four edited together as a movie. That's what I like. And yeah, Darth Maul. Speaking of which, season four. And I wish they had slip covers for these DVDs. But oh well. Season five of The Clone Wars. And then we got the last season for now, The Lost Missions, or season six, the Netflix version. And by the way, quick tidbit for you guys, they're actually bringing back the Clone Wars. It's not going to be on Cartoon Network, it's going to be on a Disney, either Disney XD or Disney Channel. So I'm looking forward to seeing the return of the Clone Wars. So, yeah, I love the Clone Wars. And lastly, Star Wars Rebels season one. I enjoyed it. It's all right. Oh yes, my favorite season, because it brought back Ahsoka Tano and Darth Vader, Star Wars Rebel Season 2, and then Star Wars Rebel Season 3, I don't have Season 4 just yet, which is known as the last season, and look, Darth Maul's in this, but it's sad that they killed him off eventually in this show. So yeah, basically, that is it, that is is my entire Star Wars DVD and Blu-ray collection.
If you guys like this video, tap a like. If there's any, if you know any other Star Wars movies that I don't have, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know in the comments below what is your favorite Star Wars movie. Mine is Return of the Jedi. So anyway, if you're new here to the channel, subscribe here. And if also subscribe if you like what you see. Tap the bell and get notified about my latest videos. And if you subscribe, you will get Patterson eyes. This is Rich Patterson saying, have a great day.